Hello. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very basic error which we face in our day-to-day -day job, that is divide by zero error. Let's go to PBI and try a few scenarios and see how we can tackle it. Here is the file and I have added a matrix. And if you notice here, I have two columns, column one and column two. Column one, I'll be using as a numerator and column two as a denominator. And if you notice some of the values are either null or zero. Now let's go with the standard division, which we use which we use during our school days or college days and see what is the error we get and the built-in function, which is called divide and see what, what is the error we get and how to deal with the error, okay? So now I am gonna create a new measure here. And let me call this as standard division. So this is what we used to do, fact column sum of fact column divided by sum of fact column two. That's my denominator, okay? Hit enter. So let me change this to percentage and add this to this matrix. So if you notice here, whenever the numerator is zero, I'm getting a zero percentage. But whenever the denominator is zero or blank, I'm getting infinity, okay? And when the numerator is null or blank, I'm getting blank as the output. So now let's try with the built-in function. So PBI comes with a function called divide. So let's try this. equal to use the divide function. Numerator is my sum of column one, comma, denominator is sum of column two, okay? So, and you have the third argument, alternate result. I'll ignore this for now, and then let's see what we get as a result. So, let me change this to percentage. and bring this to this matrix here. So if you notice here, whenever I have the proper numerator and denominator, I'm getting the result. And when the numerator is zero, I still get zero percentage. But when the denominator is zero or blank, it's showing as blank, okay? So now I will use the third argument or the parameter here. So the alternate result is zero. So hit enter. Now let's see what we get. So now instead of blanks, I'm getting zero and zero. But for the last row here, the numerator itself is empty. So in both the methods, I'm getting empty as a result. But if you want this to be zero, so let's say it doesn't look nice, right? So sometimes the value might be missing. And if you have a lot of blanks uh, showing it as a blank, may not be cosmetically nice or good, right? So to do that, I'm gonna use a switch function and then use true. I'm gonna check if this is empty, okay? Let's, I'm gonna use is empty function. Okay, if this is true, sorry, I cannot use is empty, but I'm gonna use is blank, okay? If is blank, I want this to be zero. Else, I'm gonna copy this value and paste it to the end. So else, this is the result. Hit enter. So now, if you notice here, instead of blanks, I'm having zero percentage, okay? So these are the few tricks if you want to handle the errors. And also, if you want your dashboard to look good cosmetically as well, okay? And I know this is very basic, but uh, sometimes uh, due to habit, we tend to use the first standard method. This is the one because it's very simple, right? But anyways, 
I hope this video was uh, helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or colleagues. Okay. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.